Hello, hello everyone. So it's the last Wednesday of the month and that means we have our my collaboration with Caitlin, Clary, and um, as you can see here, we don't have a process video. <laughs> um, for whatever reason, um, when I went in to start to do my video, I realized that I had no video. So, the problem with doing YouTube videos where you create something is that you can't recreate it because usually you don't have the same supplies to start over. So instead, I'm going to walk you through my project. So this month's project product that we are chose, chose to use is ribbon. This is the card that I created. Um, and I'm just going to open it here and show you the inside. And I'm going to talk to you about how I created this. So for me, when you use ribbon, the hardest thing to figure out is adhesive. Because if you use wet adhesive, you end up with like wet stuff, right? Because the wet adhesive soaks through. So what I did was this gorgeous ribbon, I got it at Joann's while in Arizona while I was at Creativation. And... I wanted to, I initially had wanted to use it for a scrapbook page, but <laughs> in my infinite wisdom, I spilled something on the white, so I can't use the white. So I had to make a card with what I had left of the white. So um, anyway, that's just here there. So what I used to adhere my ribbon to my card base, this is just an A2 size card, I used glue dots, the ultra thin dots, and I used that to adhere my ribbon so that it wasn't wet or icky or anything like that, and I just adhered it by cutting a strip, folding it under, adhering it in the inside, and then adhering it to the back of my card base. Then, for these little floral pieces, these are Maggie Holmes, I used pop-up dots, again, glue dots, not wet glue, and I adhered them down. I used the pop-up dots because they're nice and thick. So I could put them on the back of the die cuts and like push them down in and they still gave some bulk. Um, okay. And then the inside is, you can see here, the inside says thanks. This is a Pink Fresh Studio die and background. So the thing I like about this card is this. This is an envelope, just a normal size envelope, but because ribbon is so forgiving, just a little bit, you do have to kind of slide it in there a bit, but you can fit it into a regular envelope, seal it up, address it, add one extra stamp, and it will go it through the mail. And after it comes out of the mail, all that ribbon and all that texture and all that prettiness will just magically reappear. So, um, in case things look a little, okay, so for example, these die cuts are going to move. They're going to move no matter what. They're attached. They're not going anywhere. They have the big pop dots attached to them, but because of the nature of ribbon and the nature of the card, this they're going to look like this, right? <laughs> Um, so that's my ribbon card project. I hope that you like it. It's lovely. I think it's super sweet and fun. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm totally okay with the fact that it doesn't have the, that I don't have the process because, I mean, it was a really easy card to do. It's a really easy card. Just grab some ribbon, just put the pop dot, the glue dots on the back of the ribbon. I will say that my nails, so I have gel nails, and when I made this, the glue dots kept wanting to stick to my nails instead of the ribbon. So what I ended up doing was, what I ended up doing with the glue dots was I would pull off like a row, turn it upside down and stick it to the paper and then stick the ribbon down on top of the glue dots. It just made it a little bit easier because I did was fumbling a little bit with it. But there's my card for today. Make sure to go over and check out Caitlin's video. I saw her card, it's gorgeous. She did like these little cutouts 
when she backed them, almost like you back a cut file, but she backed it with ribbon. It's super duper cute. So um, make sure you run over and check out her card. Be and she has a process too. Woohoo! And um, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.